Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your Love Forecast Horoscope for Will There Be Contact? I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you like a person where you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Also, my beautiful darlings, if you're a fan of the mysteries, or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. All right, so what's going on with the status of this connection? What's happening with this connection? Why aren't they communicating? What do they want to say to you? And also, will there be contact? So let's check this out. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's try so first of all, let's find out what's going on with the status of this connection, Pisces. Show me the cards I need, see? Show me the cards I need to see. All right, we got the Eight of Swords. We got the Full Card Energy. We got the Empress. We got the Two of Pentacles. We got the Ten of Cups. We got the Three of Pentacles. We got the Seven of Cups. We have the Nine of Pentacles and we have the King of Swords. What's going on here? So obviously someone is deciding to be trapped in their thoughts here. And they're ready, almost ready to take a risk here. There's excitement around this. We see fertility, attraction, okay? We see a very nurturing, supportive energy, a sense of abundance, seeing that there's a lot of growth. What is the Empress? She's got the pregnancy belly, so it's showing me that there is potential for a lot of growth. And I know somebody just commented on the other reading that they want me <laughs> to be more neutral, not so um, masculine and feminine about it. But the Empress is, she is the divine uh, feminine. She is the, she is the, uh, you know, the mother of the major arcana in here. Um, however, I want to preface this on saying that basically, this is a fertile connection, okay? So there's a lot of potential. We'll just say it's a lot of potential in the connection. Still a lot of potential in the connection. And uh, it seems like there's a person that seems to be juggling back and forth, trying to make a decision. And uh, there's a want to be completely happy and to have some kind of long-term situation. It's, I get the sense that someone's trying to go back and forth like, I want to make the best decision. I've been doing some juggling about a decision. There could be more than one person involved in the situation because we got the Three of Pentacles, or this could be a work-related situation for some of you guys with the Three of Pentacles. That's for some of you because we got the Empress as the Abundance, which can talk about wealth. We got the two of pentacles and we got the three of pentacles come talk about a work related situation or trying to find a creative solution. There's a person that's like, I got the tools and the means to do this, but I wanna come at this from a higher perspective. That's what I get the sense of. I wanna bring some kind of real knowledge to the situation. That's what I get the sense of too. Seven of Cups shows me that there is this sense of confusion or looking over at options to make sure that something is going to be the right choice. Nine of Pentacles shows me an isolation, separation, or a self-focus going on. But there is definitely a want to speak the truth with the King of Swords energy. So I'm trapped in my thoughts. I'm weighing a heavy decision. I'm juggling some things because I'm confused about what to do. Should I take a risk here? I want to be happy, but I have this self-focus financially. There's this isolation separation. There's this huge potential, and I want to find a creative solution to speak to you. So let's get more information here, Pisces. Let's use the tipper to clarify. So can I have some more information about Pisces? love interest and what's currently going on with the connection oh i see there's also this could represent a mother for some of you guys which is causing an issue okay so what else is going on my pisces when it comes to the status of this connection show me the cards i need two. show me the cards i need two okay, okay. So going further on this, we see there's this relationship, this sense of trapped, 
because of house and family. There's the mother energy again. We see there needs to be some kind of change, or there's ready for some change and concerns and worries to spend some time together. We see there's distance far away, long time, and a sense of despair here. Okay. So going to the next um, question here. Why aren't they communicating? Why isn't Pisces love interest, the one they're here for, the one that we're about? Why aren't they communicating with Pisces? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Lacking the confidence, the courage, and strength to get your attention. It's like they, they're sitting down and they're realizing, well, yeah, this is this really deep love connection. Pisces, Scorpio, energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy. And it's like they're about to do something here. That's what I get the sense of from this card. Yeah. But we see that there's this choice that's being made here. They're, they're really weighing a heavy choice here. So I get this sense of here from the heart. Obviously, if there's a family member involved, I, I, I could feel why that would be the case. We see that the, the pages can represent children, okay? They can represent a sense of immaturity, a sense of naivete, okay? This person's trying to be logical, think with their head. So they're overanalyzing with the Knight of Pentacles energy. They're like, um, what can I do to test the waters here to make sure it's all okay? We see there could be a uh, far away energy for some of you guys. There could be long distance connection, or we see that they're like, how do I accomplish or complete this here? There's a sense of sadness and heartache here with the Three of Swords energy. Let's use the Gypsy for more clarification. Why isn't there Pisces love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? Why isn't Pisces love interest contacting them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. They're trapped in a situation, want to be happy, committed to single and available to pursue or trying to help be helpful. They want to be together. We see there's some kind of travel or love of travel, movement or change, waiting to have this conversation and surprise you. So they're waiting for the right time to have this conversation. It looks like somebody feels like they're trying to be there for the, them. And there is, this is when someone wants to be with someone, right? But they see there's a travel card here. There's some kind of changes here. And we see there's waiting here to have this conversation because they don't want to have any surprises, okay? Okay, let's see what they want to say to you, Pisces. What does Pisces love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does Pisces first want to say to Pisces? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's use a couple of different decks. What does Pisces love interest want to say to Pisces? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we got, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. We will be together again. I hope you can forgive me one day. I feel you're leaving me behind. It's time for me to heal now. I bury myself in work, which makes sense, to forget you. You're the best thing in my life. I love you unconditionally. I want you. So you're definitely seeing this person has a want to be with you, has a love for you, and they're starting to understand the connection. So this is giving them time to contemplate what's going on here. Let's go further. Yeah, they're, they're feeling that they're lucky to have you. They're being patient. There we got the world again. So some of you guys, there's a foreign element, there's a travel element uh, involved with this somehow. And obviously we see this person's doing something with work so this travel element may have something to do with around work. Okay. I'm very cautious. 
but I know that our connection is resilient and I'm going to be happy here. I want to see your smiling face. I've been distracting myself with my energy, but I really do love you. I see there could be some changes here in the relationship or I want some kind of changes in the relationship because I know that we are destined. This is a part of our destiny. Okay. So with all that being said, let's find out about the communication. Okay, let's use my deck. I like to be clear cut, so let's go clear cut. All right, Spirit, you know how this works. Key card for yes in the first nine cards. So for Pisces, for their love interest, the one they're here for, the one they went off. Will their, con lo their love interest, the one they're out of communication with, contact them in the next few months? Key card for yes in the first nine cards for yes. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay, we got this motherly kind of energy again. Add a relationship. And definitely there's feelings here. We see there could be an infringing party and something has to be healed here. There may be some big changes coming in here. This person has a lot of uncertainty about where they stand with you. And we see that there is some kind of communication. So I get this sense, no, not at this time, it's to lead because obviously this person knows they're gonna be with you again. They know they love you. Obviously we see the feelings card. They are healing the situation. There's in some kind of infringing party. It seems to be like a mother energy or something to do with a someone that could have children with someone here. Um, we see that there's some healing and some big changes here. This person doesn't know where they stand with you. Like, like they have uncertainty about you and like they know how they feel because I see this romance and healing, but they have this uncertainty about should I contact them? You know, will, will they cut me out? So they're uncertain if they should, they want to. It looks like they want to with this letter card energy, but they're uncertain if they should. So I would say no at this time, okay? But I'm definitely showing that it's definitely promising for a contact. So let's get an understanding of why that is. Because obviously they said they'll, you guys will be together again and all this kind of stuff. So what, what exactly is going on here? So what does Pisces need to know about this of why they're not going to contact right away? A new start is coming. Something has to be released, some kind of negativity, some issues and fears. So why is it not happening, Spirit? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. You may have to be the one to make the first move here, Pisces, if you can, okay? It's saying believe in the impossible, so it is going to happen. They're seeing that something has to be brought into balance spiritually, practically. It says it's time to take an action. You can't let the past hold you back. Surrender to the divine. Expect a powerful change. The conclusions are reached within. Uh, don't get frustrated about this situation. It has to be safe for you to love. But a tough cycle is about to be over here and your commitment will be tested. So. Only contact this person if this resonates with you guys. I just want to preface that on that, Pisces. So I want to find out, Spirit, if that's not the case for that particular Pisces. What other advice do you have for them? So let's say, Spirit, that this is the Pisces that that doesn't resonate with, where they can't contact them. So what should they do? So what should they do? If that's the case, if that Pisces, if this Pisces, if this is the one, we're going to ask about this one, Spirit, that this Pisces, let's say this Pisces can't contact them. What should they do when it comes to their love connection? The highest, that's good for the best possible outcome for them. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, don't get distracted. There is going to be hello again. This will be recovered. There is unlimited potential for this. We see people involved in the situation. There's gonna be healing here. Stay strong and resilient. You will see the signs and be in awe and wonder about the situation of how things come into balance. Don't give up. 
be cautious here about the situation because there may be some shock and surprise or big disruptions. Focus on your change, your metamorphosis, and know that you have possibilities here to bring this into the harmony. You will achieve this. Stay hopeful, okay, when it comes to stability and stableness around the connection. So with you guys, the ones that don't resonate with contacting that person or reaching out to the person because those Pisces, obviously the ball is in their court, right? With you guys, it's saying don't lose hope that it will be resolved. This person will say hello again. Just have faith. Don't give up and stay strong, okay? All right, my beautiful Pisces. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys another day or two if you feel comfortable. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I do read my comments and I love hearing from you guys. Let me know if this resonates with you or uh, you, know, you claim this message. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.